Today, we're going to be working on some Millionaire's Shortbread, or Caramel Shortbread, as it's also known as. Um, this is a really popular thing in Britain. Um, but so what it is, we have some shortbread that's going to be on the base. Uh, it's kind of like a sugar cookie, type of a sugar cookie, but really, really rich. Um, we're going to have that as the base, then we're going to have some caramel, then we're going to have chocolate. And this is all going to be sandwiched together. Um, so, let's get started up. To start off with, for the shortbread, uh, it, it takes some butter, some flour, some sugar, and a little salt. Uh, so we're going to start off with the uh, sugar and the butter. We're going to whip those together. Then we're going to add our salt and our flour in as the strengthener to bring that all together. And we're going to pack that in uh, to one of our Pyrex dishes. This is all nicely mixed up now. You can see um, it's literally kind of looking like a sugar cookie type of a dough, but it's very, very rich because all of that butter that we've got in there, and a little bit of salt gives it that almost salt water taffy kind of, uh, kind of quality. Literally all we're going to do now is press this down by hand so you can kind of feel your way through. We, we want to get this to be a completely even layer on the base. And then we're going to put it in the oven about 350 degrees. We're going to let it bake about 20 minutes. As you can see, we have our golden brown shortbread. That's nice and cooled down now. So the next step, we're gonna create the next layer. I've got a can of sweetened condensed milk. I'm gonna pour it into the pan right here. And I'm gonna slowly whisk it whilst I have a moderate temperature on there so that that way we can caramelize it. We have to be very careful because it will caramelize fast. We want it to be a nice golden brown color. So you have to keep it stirring. And so we now have this wonderful golden brown coloration on our sweetened condensed milk with that butter added in there as well. There's a little bit of uh, flakes of, uh, of brown in there from a little caramelization that went on in there as well. That's okay though. Don't worry about those little bits. They won't taste burned or anything. It's just caramelized. Uh, they'll actually just add to the depth of caramelized flavor. And now we're going to even this all out and then we'll give it a little shake and then we're going to have to let this cool off completely as well before we add our chocolate. Now the last thing we need to do is we're going to add our chocolate to the top and literally all we're going to do is melt this down, pour it right across the top and then we're going to Smooth it all out to nice and evenly coat everything on top. Good layer of the good stuff. 